Yo, what is up, my people? It's your boy DP. Bringing you guys another video. This video, I kind of want to talk about, you know, a little bit of myself because people tend to assume a lot of shit. Talking crap about me or whatever. They don't know anything about me. They just go on what random user 32 laces dash B said about me and then find it funny so they could get a cheap lowercase x capital D or LOL so they could feel good about themselves like they're funny. You know, all that just be one with the one with the crowd, bandwagon, um, bandwagon or whatever the fuck it, um, that term is called. So yeah, me and the priest community, I'm kind of distant from it. I really don't, I really don't like try to engage with it as much as I used to, just because a lot of people tend to assume stuff about me since I have a different opinion from everyone else. And then that leads to, you know, people talking and other people that don't even main the character don't know much about me just talking a lot of shit. And I'm just like, okay. Really? I just let it rock. I don't care. It's not stopping me from doing what I do, which is, you know, provide video for you guys. Be a peach mentor and help you guys out. Like, it doesn't stop me from doing any of that at all. It doesn't. So, yeah. Like, me and the peach community, I'm just distant from it. And reasons for that is, from what I said, I felt like having a different opinion from anybody else makes you the black sheep, the rotten piece in the garden. Like, uh, I'm in a piece of score, and they have a metagame topic where you can talk about, you know, her metagame and stuff. I started going in there, sharing my thoughts, and I noticed that I'm the only one that thought what I did. Everybody else has a different opinion. And when I did, People thought that, you know, I was being arrogant, cocky, mad, and just assuming stuff to the point where, you know, I think one point I got soft banned, and to a point where Ahmad, I don't think he's there anymore, I hope not, he's a piece of shit, Ahmad came to me on a disrespectful personal level, and I was like, wow. Okay. That's it. I don't think that fuckboy is there anymore. But I was like, alright. So yeah, I noticed like in there people have people agree on the same thing. Yeah, how do what's this matchup like? Oh it's it's terrible or we destroy it and then people are like okay. Like nobody really questioned or challenged or anything. I was the only one that did it. And because of that I was seen as the black sheep and you know what I just spoke of. And I kind of felt like I couldn't talk in there because it would just lead to all this over and over. And I'm just like, okay, what the fuck? So I literally have to agree with what everybody else is saying and agrees with for it to be all kittens and rainbows. If not, I'm the bad guy. I'm the problem. The mods want to get at me. And I'm just like, you know what? I'm, like, I'm done. It got to a point where I said, you know what, I, I, I literally told them, I'm not going to talk in here anymore. I'm not. I can't share my opinion. If somebody has a question, I can't answer it. As much as I want to because I want to help somebody. If I can't help somebody, I feel like a piece of shit. It doesn't make me feel good. I can't even joke about that. I don't feel good when I can't help somebody. I feel bad. So this time where I will pop in every now and then and I see people ask you know questions where I could give a full analysis on it to really help them out. And I'm just like, I, I can't, I can't do it because I'm just going to get shunned. And it, you know, it, it, it sucks. It sucks. I am a peach mentor. I make videos. And because of that, people assume the worst, especially when I don't even go to attorneys. Like I don't enter events and People find me like at the threat to the point they want to spend most of the time out their day to get at me. And it doesn't stop me from doing what I'm doing. Like I said, it's never going to stop me. I just brush it off. They're not important. The ones that are important to me are the ones that I help. The ones that, you know, let me know that I'm doing a good job. The ones that let me know that the videos are helping them. My advice is helping. Those are the ones that matter. That's it. You can't have everybody like you. It's impossible. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. People are going to just like you. That's just life. So you don't worry about that shit. You're, you worry about...
the ones that support you that are on your side. So yeah, it's just crazy. Like my own squad, Peach, the Peach Squad, plays the same freaking character. And I feel like I can't, I can't say anything, you know? And I don't give cheap advice either. Like that's why my tutorial is so long because I don't give cheap advice. I want to cover every option possible. So that way, when you get presented with something you don't see often, you're like, okay, I don't see this a lot, but Dark Priest told me like, if this was to happen, I can do this. So I'm ready for it. So yeah, man, it, it doesn't really feel like a community in my aspect. It's like, it's a community where all the cool kids, you know, everybody has their own clique, you know, being one with the crowd and whatnot. Man, it's like no no dark peaches allowed. If you light, you cool. If you dark, nah, you got dead. I'm like, well, fuck. I'm like, okay. And one of the things that really like sparked me, one at one point, is I was in there and somebody said, "Yo, I wouldn't recommend watching dark peaches videos. You should watch EOE." And I'm like, wait, wait, Neil, what? And I commented on that to the dude. I'm like, why would you not recommend my video but EOE's video? He gave me, to me personally, what I think, uh, he gave me some bullshit answer. That's what I think. He gave me some bullshit answer. Like, oh, there was something about the video, this and that. Something. To me, it was dumb. So I'm like, okay, you recommend a video. You recommend a channel by a dude that mainly basically talks about combos and tricks. But you will not recommend a channel about a dude with the same character that actually teaches you the fundamentals of the game, good control of the character, being hard to hit, how to pressure, how to get your damage to begin with, to start all that hot shit off. Like you're backwards. You can't learn to walk if you can't crawl. He's basically telling him. Yo, watch this guy, he'll teach you how to crawl. Don't watch, I mean, watch this guy, he'll teach you how to walk. But don't watch this guy who's teaching you how to crawl. That's the type of shit that um, I get. And I'm like, okay. And then when it comes to matches, and you know, matchups and stuff, people, they'll usually complain about a character over and over. And I, you know, give them answers. Be like, okay, think outside the box. You can do this, you can do that. Some things, okay, what's what's um, bad? What's giving you a hard time? This? Okay, let's talk about what can we do about this. How can we limit this? How can we deal with this? How can we punish this? You know, blah, blah, blah. Mm, no. It, that's not good in my case. I get shunned for that, too. Like, when the whole stupid discussion came up, about Meta Knight destroying Peach because of Abadango beating Samsara the way he did. I I think I was the only person that said, I don't think that matchup was that bad. People looked at me like I punched a freaking kitten. I'm like, wait, what? Yeah. Like, oh, well, no, because uh, Samsara, he's the top Peach main, and he lost. So, yeah, I'm like, bruh. First, so you ain't question if he was doing everything properly. You ain't question why he was getting hit. And what could he have done about it? Nope. You see something once, it happens, and that's it. No questions, nothing. You know what it is? People are lazy. People are literally freaking lazy. I'm not lazy. That's why I spend so much time in the freaking lab. I'm not lazy. That's why I spend so much time with the videos. I make them long because I'm not lazy with advice. Right? People are freaking lazy. They don't want to work. If something is not simple and it's hard, that's it. Like, you can't, if you can't freely do what you want, it's bad. Peach is a character that requires a lot of patience and concentration. And I will say that a lot of Peach means they're not patient. That's why some of the shit happens to them that happens, and then they'll complain that, oh, this match is bad, I can't do anything. You can't do anything because you're doing stuff you're not supposed to be doing. That's why you can't do anything. You're making it harder than it should be. But of course, when I say shit like that, oh, well, you don't know nothing. You you suck. Be shit. You're not even the top main, a, a top piece main. It's all about these dudes. And I'm like, okay. 
at the end of the day, still not gonna stop me from saying stuff like that. Because there are people who will listen, and there are people who will take it to advice, and are people slash have been people who got better with the character because of it. Simple as that. Simple as that. So, yeah, that's there's just a, a few of many examples when it comes to peace community. That's it. It's just not funny anymore. Like, it's crazy when I get welcomed and I feel like I'm part of a team with other character mains. Like, I feel like I'm cool with um, a few Falcons that I ran into. I feel like I'm more of a team playing with the Rosalinas. Fucking Rosalinas. Like, the Rosalinas, from what I've seen, the ones that I know, they're like chill as fuck. The Rosalina community, I'm like, I'm alright with them. Alright, when it comes to the peace means though, like, yo, we on the same team, we on the same squad. Like, what the fuck? All because I don't agree with you? That's why? Because nobody wants to challenge the stuff that is going on, that is being said, thinking outside the box, so to step the game up, do something different that nobody's seen yet with this character? That's bad? Because I say, oh, you gotta work hard, you can't do this, you gotta... Be patient. You can't challenge. You can't do whatever you want. The character is not designed for that. That's bad on my part. So yeah, it's to a point where I might—I feel like I'm my own peace community. That's how it is. Cause I, I, I just can't. I literally can't. And it's not fun anymore. As much as you know, I would like to, you know, be with them. And, you know, that way, if I work with a team, it's better than working solo. Shit gets done faster. But I feel like I, I, I can't do it. So everything I have to do on my own. And I've done it. And I feel like I will have much more progression. And probably even be, like, five times better with the character that I am now. But it's like, I just can't. So I'm like, I'm not going to worry about it. Shit like that happen, you just avoid it. Avoid confrontation, avoid headaches, just do you. So yeah, so overall, I'm a guy that likes to help people. I like to make people laugh. I don't enter tournaments or events like that, so there's no need for me to think like I'm on top of the freaking world. Like all I care about is helping people. I put others over me. And that's a terrible weakness on my part because at times I worry about others and people could take advantage of that and just be very rude disrespectful you know etc etc without putting myself first you should always put yourself first but at times it's just just how I was raised I like to help people and sometimes that ends up you know you getting put down you getting hurt I'm just like whatever but I feel like I'm a strong person for it because as much as it happens I just get right back the fuck up. You try to put me down, I get right back up. And I don't care. I keep going. Man, ain't nobody, ain't nobody gonna stop me, nah. Mm -mm. Ain't gonna stop me. And that's it. So anything that you hear about me from other people, don't don't believe the hype. Don't believe the bullshit. They just want to sound cool. They just want to get a cheap, lowercase x, capital D, or LOL, so they can feel good about themselves. They just being one with the crowd, just trying to fit in, bandwagging. I don't even know if I use the terminology right, but yeah, you get the idea. So yes, that is your boy, Dark Peach. In a nutshell, just distant from the community, by myself, and what I am about. Just a guy that just wants to make people laugh and help you step your game up. So I can see you out there in top eight instead of these boring faces I see all the freaking time. But that said, thank you for watching. Thanks to all the new people that I got through introspective video. Welcome. Thanks to all the new subscribers that I got through my latest videos. And of course my veteran subscribers. You guys are awesome all together. And I will see you next time. Do